welcome to Candice Lynn TV. I do a little bit of everything, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Cricut to make a stencil. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm going to start off by going to my favorite app, and you know it's Fonto. I'm going to click on the camera in the bottom center, and then plain images. Then you're going to click on the white square at the top on the right, and then the icon on that same side at the top on the right, and then you use and save. Now you can go click anywhere on the gridded area and then click add text and then type the text that you want it to say. So that's what I'm doing here is just typing up my text. Once you have your text, then you can go in and choose any font that you want. Like this is the reason why this is my favorite app. There's so many free fonts here and you do not have to pay for them. Like I say in all my videos, Cricut Design Space is trying to make you pay for all of their fonts, but these are free. So why not use them? I'm going to use for this font, um, it's called Spicy Rice, and then I'm going to move it to the center of the white area that you see and then change the color to black, and then I'm going to click on the bottom right corner icon to save that image. Then it's going to save it to your photos. Now I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space where all the magic happens. This app is, you know, it's Cricut Design Space. You're going to need it to use your Cricut. Now I'm going to click upload and then select the image from the library and then I'm going to remove all of the background in the areas that you don't need. I did not notice until today but if you click in the little white square at the top it's going to show you what it will look like when it gets cut out so you can use that if your eyesight is not good to make sure you got all the inside of your letters all removed. Then you're going to click next twice and then on this screen you'll click cut, name it and save it and then you'll click it again and then insert it. Once it's inserted onto your Cricut Design Space, then you can change the size to what you want it to be. I've already measured this for what I'm going to use it for, and it's going to be a 7 by 5. So it's 7 width and 5 height. And once you have it that way, then you can click Make It. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I'm about to show you guys what my favorite feature on Cricut Design Space is and that is the snap mat feature. It allows you to basically take a picture of the mat and put your vinyl where it needs to be and your design over it. So you click the icon at the bottom on the left and this is what comes up and don't mind my slippers. And it's going to take a picture of the mat with the vinyl on it and you place your design on top of it where you want it to be. This helps you to use different vinyl colors on the same mat and just possibilities endless like always. And then I'm going to click continue and then this will pop up and this is basically going to be the screen where you follow the instructions, you choose your material, then you upload it and it's going to tell you what to do when it's time to go and start cutting your design out. And now I'm going to show you how to upload your mat to your Cricut machine. You see the light is blinking, that's telling you that it's ready to be uploaded. So you just slide the mat into those grooves and up to that bar. Then you hold it down, it pulls it in as much as you it needs it to be pulled in. Then you're going to see the other light beside that start blinking and that's what you click and it's ready to go. Then it's going to cut out your design. There will be a second part to this video showing how to use the stencil and apply it to your DIY project. So go ahead and subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss that. Also, I want you guys to comment what you think I'm going to put this stencil on and what I'm going to use it for. So go ahead and like this video because I'm dropping knowledge. Comment what you think I'm going to put this stencil on and then subscribe so that you will be able to see the next video which is part two to this showing how to use and apply the stencil to your project. So this is me just weeding out the um, letters on a regular project you would basically if you're using like regular vinyl you would just take out what you don't want. On this one you're taking out what you do want to be using as a stencil so I'm going to be removing the letters instead of the background. So that's what I'm doing here using my handy dandy $1 dental kit tool that I use as a weeding tool and it's going to leave behind my stencil.